Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is group two of the group spot which I'm hosting. It's called Make It Your Way. I've already done group one, I think it will be a few weeks ago now. So if you would like to see what group one made, definitely go back and check out that video. And um, there'll be lots of more group swap videos to come. Um, because there's lots of ladies who have joined in the swap. Um, and the parcels are coming in really fast now so I'm making lots of videos to show what everyone's made and I'm having so much fun seeing what everyone's made so I'm going to jump into showing the creations of this group so I'm going to start off with this one this one in front of me is Jules's entry and she was in group one as well she did two groups and she made the same for both so I'm not going to unpack this one again if you want to see what Jules made, just pop over to the other video and then you'll be able to see it. It's really, really gorgeous, so you don't want to miss out on seeing what she made. And then I'm going to go over to this one. Um, this one is from Vianetta. I think she's from the US, so it came all the way from America. This is how she's packaged it up in a little cello bag with some shred. And she kind of sent one for me, so I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside. Let's just open it this way. I love everyone's creativity with the packaging. There's just so many different packaging styles. So this is what Vina has made. Um, she's made like this little, it's like a book box and it has a dangle charm on. I love the little cluster on the front. I think she's used Maggie Holmes round trip collection. Because it's make it your way. You can use any collection of your choice. So it's really nice to see all the different collections which everyone's used. I love this blue gem. It's like really iridescent. So I was a bit unsure how to open it at first. But I've realised it just slides out like this. So it's like a little sleeve cover on top. And then it opens like a little book and um, it has opens up again so look at this um on the front she's done like a little um information with like a uh, instagram name on and information about her swaps and then on here is her sequin mix lots of pretty pastel colors and then these are her shakers cute little envelopes which say hello and then these are her handmade flowers really small and cute and then these are the gems little pink love hearts love those i haven't got anything like that in my stash so i'm really excited to use them once and i just love the packaging i've never seen anything like this it's really really fun it's really small but it fits so much in well that's really cute sorry if you hear any background noises my dog's in here i have four dogs and they're all in here right now and i think one's noisily having a drink i was hoping that they would stay nice and quiet and asleep and i do have a parrot as well he's always noisy in my videos so i'm gonna go over to this one at the back this one is from alina and she's made some gorgeous suitcases. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. So I'm jumping ahead of myself. I haven't showed you how she's packaged them up. And it's absolutely gorgeous. She's packaged it in this like, it's like some sort of crinkly paper. I'm not sure what the material even is. Um, but it looks gorgeous and it goes with the collection gorgeously. And then she just used Parasol by Maggie Holmes. Then she's made these little gift tags to go on them as well. And it's even got a like handmade flower which is add glittered on herself. I just think that packaging is gorgeous. I love it. Um, and she sent me this little note that has a handwritten note in. And then also she made me a memory decks card. Which was so nice of her to include that little extra. I love memory decks cards. I'm collecting them. Um, and I just love this one. So happy to add it to my collection. Thank you so much. And then let's have a look at her 
suitcase. I think she might have used like a mix of collections because I think these flowers um, and this paper, these are not from Parasol. But I absolutely love how it looks. It's such a nice size as well. This is her Instagram. I'll put everyone's Instagrams in the description as well so you can easily find them. Let me remember how to open it. Is it at the front? Yeah, so this one's actually Velcro where the hearts are. Love that idea. And then here's how it opens. So much pretty goodness inside. Um, there's a little gift tag. I'm not sure if this was... I think these might have been like attached. Oh, so this one is from the packaging. And this one might have been on like the memory decks envelope maybe, I think. It's quite a while since I've received these to when I'm doing the videos. So when I'm opening them now, it's like I've forgotten what's inside. So it's like opening them for the first time again. So it's very exciting. <laughs> this is a sequin mix. So pretty. I just added a little... Um, I think these might have came with one of the collections, my Hyun's collections maybe. And then there's a little suitcase, like a mini suitcase, let me see how I need to open it. I think I'll open it like this. I'm not sure, I can't remember. I don't want to break it. I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to open it and I don't want to risk breaking it. Okay, I've worked it out. Um, so it's these little bits here with the gems on. They open up and then inside is her handmade flowers. She's done rolled flowers and then she's added some glitter on some of them as well. So pretty. So glittery the camera doesn't even focus how pretty love that it's such an extra touch with the glitter on i love it that's so nice doing them in a mini suitcase as well to go with a big suitcase <laughs> love that and then here are her handmade flowers i love these i think i have this same die but i don't have these ones so pretty This is her shaker. I just added one of the flowers on there as well. So cute. It's very, lots of sequins inside. Lots of shakiness in there. And then these are the gems. I think that she included like two lots like this for everyone, I think. That's such a pretty one. So this is like the Rosy Studio. Um, can't remember which collection. It's like the unicorn one. It's really pretty. I love these gems. And then also these ones. I've never seen anything like these before. I love these like frosted ones. Really fun. And I love all the bag toppers as well. So pretty. So much loveliness in this entry thank you so much for sending one for me as well i'm probably packing it up wrong i won't be able to fit it all back in again it's like the perfect fit as well for everything inside i love the idea of the velcro on the front so lovely and then the last one is from Anne marie and Anne-Marie has used these lovely tins, the like metal tin, um, and it says, does it, it says love letters, like, like this on the front. And just put a big bow around it and this love heart. But this is such a nice way to package them. And then you can use the tin afterwards as well. So nice. If you do like pen pal mail, you could keep the tin and put your pen pal letters in, like you have like to reply to. Well, that would be a really nice idea. So I'm going to show you what is inside because she kindly sent one for me as well. 
Um, and when she's packaged them up, they had like lots of nice shred and stuff on inside, but I've taken all that out ready. Um, so she sent me a lovely card with a little note inside. And it was a handmade one. She's used the Rose, not Rosie Studio, um, Simple Stories Collection. I think it was called Happy Heart. I loved playing with this collection this year. It was so much fun. Yeah, and she actually like, wrote a note on a separate piece of paper so I can use the card. Um, I can use that for something that's really nice. I love this envelope as well. I think I'm going to keep it and like display it because it has my name on it and it's so cute. I <laughs> love it. Let's have a look into her entry. So this is how she's packaged it up, all in this lovely cellophane bag with her stickers on, with all her information on. I love your logo. Lovely. There's so many things inside of here. So. First of all, I'm seeing her sequin mix, and it says Shake It. I think this is a dye from um, Scrap Diva Design. I love this. I was tempted to get it. So it's nice to see it in person to see what it looks like. Love it. And then here are her gems. They're like red iridescent. They go with this collection perfect. I love these. I haven't got anything like this in my collection. I love getting different gems. I, they say Scrap Diva Design, so I think they might be from Erica's shop. And then these are her handmade flowers. How amazing are these? I think they're made from like a foam material. When I first looked at them, I thought they were just like shop bought. I, I couldn't believe that she'd made them. They look incredible. And then she's made this gorgeous bag top there with a big chunky rosette on it. I love these banner embellishments as well. And then in here is her shaker embellishment. She's done this lovely ribbon tassel on it as well. And it's like made from like um like thin wood, like sort of like a chipboard material. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera, but there's like lots of layers of it. I love it. And then I'm not sure what's in this one, I can't remember. So I get to find out all over again. Hmm. She sent some sweet treats. So some Tic Tacs in a berry flavour and also some candy hearts. It's so kind of her. And also some clay sequin mix pieces. I'm sure everyone's going to love those. I think everyone is going to love what everyone's made in this group. So many amazing things. You're all brilliant crafters. So thank you so much for joining in this swap. It's been so fun having you join. And thank you so much for all making one for me. It was so, so appreciated. And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.